everybody. Anthony Morgan's Training Academy. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about sheaths. Now, uh, uh, one of our uh, one of the sub sub subscribers asked me about sheaths and uh, how I go about making my sheaths is de all depending on the knife and the customer. This one here, I kind of I showed you guys a couple of videos ago about how I did the custom handle on this one here. Well, I built this Kydex sheath, and uh, this Kydex sheath I just did with the eyelets, and I have it to where it locks, it locks in so it won't fall out. Now he wants to have it to where it can hang either here off the thing. I'm doing another piece on this, which is going to be out of leather, and it's going to basically just uh, like a taco that goes over this and uh, it'll be uh, Chicago screws here holding this on and then he wants it to work. also he can wear it on his side so I will make an attachment here to where he can work on the side so it'll basically work like three way three three positions he can wear it here or he can wear it scout carry you know this way or he can wear it this way with the bands but um, my kydex sheaths I have a uh, uh, a cook a cook plate like you cook pancakes on and it's a big flat one and uh, I run it about 350 degrees when I do my kydex I get my kydex there to like 12 by 20 that my my sheets of kydex and uh, I'll cut it out just a square piece like this I lay it on my my cooktop and get it towards soft I use gloves that are the, uh, have the rubber lining on the bottom of the gloves because stuff gets really hot and then I have a press and uh, I lay out the two sides of this. I put the knife, I lay the knife down on the first piece, I put the second piece over, and I lock my press in. Now you can do this out of a lot of different things. You can use, uh, I use a heat gun, and, uh, and it's a Harbor Freight heat gun, but it works really, really well. Normally I don't like Harbor Freight stuff, but there's certain things that I will buy that, uh, that serve the purpose. Now, this one here, it locks in, I, I cut the grooves out here for the hand position to go in, okay? And it just locks in, you can hear that, you can hear that lock, okay? Now, um, like I said, I like the eyelets. I think they're cool, you can strap it onto anything, you can strap it onto your backpack. And uh, once you heat them up, they retain that. So that's the, the sheath off the one I did last week. I want to talk a little bit about this one. My son gave this to me. Uh, this is um, uh, this was made in Ukraine. Now the handle that came with this, they had bolts here holding the the handle on. I really didn't like it, and uh, so I created new scales for it, and I put the little spacers in. If you can see the or the red spacers here. Uh, so I did the red spacers and I did the uh, loveless bolts that go through here now the bolts are they're uh, uh, brass and they're quarter inch and uh, so when you put that through then I use stainless steel uh, bolts that go through the nuts and then you when you grind this off they're flush so you don't have anything like the other ones that were just a bolt that you could feel so I remodified this whole handle uh, it's a nice knife. It's a very good. It's a uh, uh, Scandi grind on it, and it's good for working bush bushcraft doing bushcraft the the holster I modified so those guys out there that have a holster that that comes with your knife as long as it's a good holster uh, You can do a lot with it Now I've got a fire starter that I put in this one, but this holster was an okay holster. It had a it had a, uh, a rivet here with a loop and it constantly was flopping back and forth when I would wear it. So I put a post here so that I could hook it, that I could hook it in my belt and it would stay. So when I pulled my knife out, it wouldn't uh, go out. But uh, I like carrying a lot of times in my, uh, in my belt line here instead of having something hang off my belt. I'm not real keen of that. But as you, if you look at this, see I took part of this, whole, this uh, sheath and I removed some of that and I put I put the copper rivets in there to hold my fire starter. 
Okay. And like I said, the post and uh, it uh, fits in real nice and it's clean. It's not not something I'm going to hang off the side of my belt, but with that post there, it makes it very useful. So these are just kind of the, some of the tips that uh, things that I do on on knife sheaths. You can, uh, if you're willing to experiment and you're willing to take a piece of leather, take a piece. Of, and if you don't, like I said, if you don't have, uh, you can order the Kydex on uh, on the internet. Now I get all mine from a knife supply company. But start picking this, picking stuff up here and there. You know, just simple little tools. I mean, you can find them at yard sales, flea markets, and you get really good tools at a really cheap price. You know, sometimes you can find an anvil. You know, a lot of my anvils I bought at yard sales. And so, you know, looking at, you know, certain things that, you know, I bought this, this little vice the other day. It's just a little vice that you can hook in on a blade and uh, this is a really, a really cool little vise. I know I'm getting off subject here, but you know, that's what I do best. I start on one thing, next thing you know, I'm, I'm on a completely different tangent. But this is a hand vise. Now, this makes it really nice for working anything. I mean, you can work sheaths with this, you can work your blades with this. You can set that down and you can actually start working the blade here. You can work the top. And see, that's pretty, you know, pretty decent, but I can clamp it down a lot harder. But with this, you can put this in a vise and you can change this back and forth. But this is a hand vise. Now, um, and you're wondering where I'm going with this, right? Um, so buying the tools, being able to, um, this is for, anytime you drill a hole in Kydex, use this to clean the burrs and stuff off it so uh, anyway that's a little bit about how I I will do leather sheaths and how I make my kydex uh, like I said just get a hot plate and start experimenting you know experimenting around now this is a uh, a little secret that I don't tell too many people but the old suitcases that were uh, you know dropped out of the planes in the 70s and 60s and 70s uh, they're made of kind of a, uh, like a plastic. And uh, I take those, I cut the suitcases apart, and uh, I make sheaths out of those also. So they heat up really well. You can conform them to the blade uh, if you don't want to buy Kydex. Uh, just a second. Okay, now you see this, this is one of the suitcases and you can buy them at Goodwill, they're like three bucks and it's a whole suitcase. Now this is one whole side panel and you can see the, the material and it is flexible. Now this is the same basic structure as uh, Kydex. Now I make a lot of, a lot of sheath saw leaves, okay, and uh, they do once you heat them up. They do bend and they do conform to the blade and they don't, they never change after they, after the, after they cool down. But uh, like I said, it's, but look at the color of that. You know, it looks like leather, but it, it, it would be, you know, a nice Kydex sheath, you know, like the one I carry here. Okay, so um, just a couple little tips, you know, you guys are, that are building, uh, building knives and trying to get interested in how to construct the suitcases you can get them in black you can get them in white and uh, they have cool designs on them you know but uh, you know if you get uh, more elaborate on your knife sheets you can ha also have them uh, engraved if you have a local engraver or pick up something like this that you can engrave you know just make your stencil out so you can you can uh, put your set in um, the cool thing about this and Kydex is I can stamp my uh, my uh, uh, symbol into it. So like my M with the dagger that I have through, uh, I can actually heat this up and, and stamp that. So anyway, just some ideas, guys, and uh, 
thank you for subscribing to our channel. Uh, I appreciate everything, you know, the notifications and the comments that you guys are giving us. Um, but uh, thank you guys. Have a good day.